Step number one to getting a thousand subscribers on YouTube is making sure that you actually understand what niche you're in because the biggest thing that I see small creators struggle with is they don't actually know who they're posting for, they don't know what they're posting about, and this is why they're not able to make videos that get them views, which eventually end up equating to subscribers. So you need to make sure that you know your niche, and it needs to be one of two things. Either first, it needs to be something you're an expert in, or second, it needs to be something that you're curious about because if you're not curious about it and you're not an expert in it, well then why are you even posting about it? This is one of the biggest things that I see people struggle struggle with this. They get started and they aren't able to get through the first few posts where their posts might not do as well simply because they're not actually passionate about whatever they're doing. For example, I helped this creator who was an expert in over 150,000 subscribers and he started from zero and got his first thousand subscribers with the next four steps that I'm going to share with you. Or this creator right here, they started with something they were curious about, something they were passionate about, a game that they liked, and in the end, it helped them also gain hundreds of thousands of subscribers. So you need to make sure that you have one of those two things done and then you need to make sure that you do the next four steps that I'm about to share with you. But before we can dive into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, and you want to learn how to monetize these platforms, you need to make sure you subscribe because if you're not, you're going to miss a video that I put out every single day about how to do those things. In addition to that, if you go to the link in the pinned comment below, it's going to share with you the best time to post on YouTube right now in my free YouTube growth course, which by the way, if you're not posting at the right time, could be one of the reasons you're not getting as many views as you want. Step two, now that you know exactly what you're gonna be posting about is you need 20 to 30 post ideas that have done well for somebody else within your niche. This is where, again, a lot of creators mess up. They just start posting. They say they're in XYZ niche, they start posting, but those posts have absolutely nothing to do with that niche. Those posts don't look like other things that have done well on YouTube before, and ultimately, that's why you're getting no views because you need to understand how YouTube actually works. The way that it works is YouTube is based off a of watch history. So somebody that logs into YouTube watches finance videos or crypto videos or fashion or fitness or cooking, doesn't matter what they're watching, they're going to get then served more of that type of content, which is why you need to understand 20 to 30 videos that have worked in your niche because this is going to help you actually determine what kind of content your audience is interested in or your potential audience at this point. And it's going to tell you what titles you should be using, what formats you should be using. And it's also gonna be a standard that you need to be exceeding because here's the deal. There are hundreds of people posting about cooking on YouTube. There are hundreds of people posting about crypto. There are hundreds of people posting about everything. So you need to make sure that your posts are actually within the top of that because if they're not, it's going to be the reason that your videos don't get pushed out and you don't get subscribers. And no, I'm not saying that you need an expensive camera. You can do all this with a simple iPhone. In fact, you could edit all your videos on an iPhone also. I'm not saying that you need a team because do not think like that. Literally, Mr. Beast gained his first 100,000 subscribers with like an iPhone 4 or an iPhone 6, whatever iPhone was out at that time. And you can do the same exact thing if you implement these next few steps. So the third step is that you actually begin creating content and you need to be putting out content consistently. In fact, I strongly recommend that you start off posting every day. Now, of course, if you're doing long form content on YouTube, you're not gonna be able to do this, which is why I recommend that you start with shorts if you're just getting started on YouTube for a few reasons. One, it's going to allow you to create a lot of content. You could easily put out one to three shorts a day. I don't care how busy you are. If you don't have 60 seconds to film a video, well then what are we talking about here? I know that you have that much time. So please begin uploading several shorts a day, but you need to make sure that every single piece of content that you upload at least has a hook, has a call to action, and is in a format that is better or the same as what you see other creators within your niche doing. And like I said earlier, if you're going to make a video with the same title as somebody else's video, which I do recommend that you do sometimes, but ideally you should try to make the title better. Nevertheless, if you're going to compete with somebody else's video, you need to make sure that your video is actually better than theirs. Because if your video isn't better or isn't coming with a different angle or isn't relating to the audience in a different way, well then why on earth would you expect YouTube to push out your content if your content is just a worse version of somebody else's. And this is why I strongly suggest that you do model your content after other people, but you need to take into consideration adding in your own voice, adding in your own twist, and making sure that it's actually better. Because instead of trying to reinvent the wheel here, you should simply be trying to innovate. And this doesn't only go for being a creator on YouTube. This goes for everything. If you look at people that are good at basketball, they'll say that they looked up to Michael Jordan. They looked up to Kobe Bryant. They would watch their film and then try those moves. Social media is the same exact way. You need to look up to those other people within your niche and you need to constantly be trying to innovate on that because if you're just trying to invent some brand new thing, it's not going to be successful and that's why so many of you are failing to get more subscribers or you're missing this last step. 
which is that you need to make sure that you're actually analyzing your content and improving. The only reason that your content's not getting pushed out on YouTube is one of three things. Either first, it was a topic that nobody was interested in. Secondly, your watch time didn't hit the criteria that YouTube actually needs it to be at. Or third, you just didn't wait long enough. So I strongly suggest that you look at your videos after they've been up for a week because they're gonna have to be up for a week to 10 to 14 days for you to actually be able to judge your post. I see so many creators judge your post after 10 minutes or after 30 minutes. Of course, you can begin to see analytics after 30 minutes, but you shouldn't be judging your posts like that. In fact, all of my posts that have done really well, gotten over 100,000 views, most of them started off as a 10 out of 10 or a nine out of 10 or an eight out of 10. And then YouTube actually found the audience for that piece of content and it got pushed out. But this did take seven, 10, 14 days, which is why you need to wait at least that long before judging a post. But once you do wait that long and a post either did well or didn't do well, you need to be critiquing your analytics by looking at the average view duration and the audience retention chart. And you need to make sure that you're making adjustments to it. Because if you're not maximizing that and maximizing the topics and the ideas that you have, well then that's the reason that you're stuck under a thousand subscribers right now. Now, if you wanna get more subscribers on YouTube, guaranteed you need to go to the link in the description of this video and sign up for my mentorship program. By the way, there are limited spots for this because I'm literally gonna help you grow on YouTube, get more subscribers, or you're gonna get your money back zero questions asked. The way that this works, I'm gonna tell you what to post, what titles to use. We're gonna critique your analytics together and so much more to guarantee that you get more subscribers. At the end of the 30 days, if you didn't get more subscribers, well then guess what? You're gonna get your money back, so there's absolutely no risk for signing up for this. It sounds like something you wanna do because you wanna get paid from YouTube or you wanna get more subscribers, please go to the link in the description of this video and sign up right now. Like I said, there are limited spots. If you're not interested, please check out the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.